You've got a painful wrist and I want to help you out. I'm Dr. Jared and this is a real-time exercise routine to help eliminate pain in your wrist by improving range of motion and increasing strength. Now your wrist is a fairly complex joint. There are actually eight bones in here that all have to work together to function normally and pain-free. It needs to be very mobile, but it also needs to be very stable. And most pain we experience is due to a deficit in one of those areas, a lack of mobility or a lack of strength. Therefore, exercises to increase range of motion and increase strength are really beneficial. And that's exactly what I wanna share with you in this routine. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this. I'm going to push start on my timer. We're going to get started with some active range of motion. I'm going to just assume a nice comfortable position in my wrist. I'm going to flex down, hold two or three seconds, and then extend up and hold two or three seconds. So just a soft fist. We're just working up and down, and we're going to hit this for about 30 seconds. I've got my forearm supported right here on my table. You could also do it right down here, support it on your knee if you don't have anything available. Just a nice, comfortable up and down motion for 30 seconds. And then what we're gonna do is put the thumb up and now we're gonna get into motions that we call ulnar and radial deviation. And so my thumb is up, I'm just pulling down towards my pinky and pushing up towards my thumb as much as I can. I'm basically just trying to improve and work on motion. I'm just trying to kind of get it warmed up in preparation for some of the other things that we're going to do with it. So we started with flexion and extension. This is going to be radial, radial and ulnar deviation, a little five second break, and then we're going to get into some circles with it. So nice and comfortable, supported, soft fist, and I'm going to go circles. Right now I'm looking down at that and that's a clockwise circle for me. And we're going to just do nice big circles. Um, again, wrist is a fairly complex joint and because of all those bones in there, it has a lot of motion available. We can take it through these circular motions and, and different positions. Um, and it's important that we work on all of those as we're rehabbing it, as we're overcoming pain. So there's 30 seconds that direction. I'm gonna reverse things. We're gonna go 30 seconds this other direction. I'm looking down at my wrist. That's counterclockwise now. And then we're gonna get into some stretching after this. Again, these first couple of exercises are just to kind of get it warmed up. Your joints thrive on motion. It just improves fluid, it improves cartilage, it improves joint surfaces, it improves tendon function and other connective tissue. And so this is a great way to just kind of get things started. After this, we're gonna get into some stretching. I wanna start with a traction to your wrist. What I'm going to do is lean my elbow onto my thigh and then I'm going to grab with my other hand, grab around my hand, and I'm going to pull in that direction over there towards my wall. So it's a, a distraction or a decompression in your wrist. A lot of pain that we experience, well here, we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. So three, two, one, we're gonna relax. I'm gonna do this one up here on my table. I'm still leaning on my upper arm and then I'm distracting right here in my wrist. A lot of the problem that we see with this comes from compression in your wrist. Think of pushing exercises, especially in the weight room. It just undergoes a lot of compressive forces. There's 20 seconds, give it a little break for just another second, and then get back into one more 20 second hold. And so any type of decompression that we can do in the wrist usually feels really good to it. When I do this to patients in the clinic, they say, oh my gosh, can you just follow me around and hold that all day? That's where I show them, here, you can do it on your own. And this is how, that's what our decompression looks like. Let's get into flexion and extension stretches. With the arm out straight, pull your fingertips back towards you. With my other hand, I'm going to grab those fingertips and introduce a little bit of an extension stretch. So I'm pulling this way towards my body until I get a good comfortable stretch right here through my forearms. I'm going to hold that one for 20 seconds and then we're going to come down and we're going to repeat that with a flexion stretch. So now fingertips are down, my hand grabs the back of my fingers and I'm going to pull that towards myself just until we get a good comfortable stretch here on this side of the arm. We're gonna hold that one for 20 seconds and then we're gonna repeat back up into the extension motion. So now pull back this way and we're gonna hold for 20 seconds. Please keep in mind with stretches, they must be pain-free. They must be comfortable. If you're trying to be the hero and push too hard, 
it's gonna cause pain, you're going to cause inflammation, it's gonna be more painful when you're done with this than when you started. Little five second break and then we'll get back into the flexion stretch down this way. And so the goal with, with uh, stretching, I was gonna say the goal with flexing, the goal with stretching is to keep it very comfortable, keep it pain free, keep it nice and relaxed. All we're doing is just trying to introduce a little more motion into those areas. 20 seconds here into the flexion stretch, and then we've just got one more of each. Um, this uh, extension motion, especially if you experience, like a lot of people will get pain in their wrist with push-ups or like a bench press or kind of things like that. Um, even like carpal tunnel type symptoms, even um, you know anything that gets tight through here, this is a great stretch for that. 20 seconds there, now we're gonna come down one more time, 20 seconds this way. Nice and comfortable, so three times 20 seconds, so about a minute of stretching into flexion and into extension. And then the next exercise we're gonna do is one of my favorite, if you get pain in your wrist, kind of on the outside, right at the base of your thumb, what I want you to do, this is a great stretch, so you're gonna grab your thumb, tuck your thumb down, and then your other fingers wrap around your thumb, and now you're gonna pull down towards the floor, just until we get a good stretch. Those tendons right in through here, oh man, that feels so good. That's one, that's one that I do a lot. I kind of get some pain in that area from time to time. This usually is enough to take care of it. Hold it really comfortable, 20 seconds, kind of, you know, give it a break, and then we're gonna get back into that stretch again. We're gonna do that one three times for 20 second holds. And then the next thing that we're going to do as soon as we're done with this, as soon as we're done with stretching, is get into some gentle strengthening, some gentle range of motion type activities with some weights. So I do have a weight here. It's just a five pound dumbbell. I typically recommend that we start pretty low. Um, one or two or three pounds is usually enough to start with as we work our way through some of these um, simple exercises for your wrist. Three, two, one, and so now I'm gonna grab my weight and I'm going to, I'm supported right here on my table. You can also do these on the top of your thigh. We're gonna go a palm down position and then we're gonna pull up towards the ceiling and then right back down. So down as low as you can, pull up towards the ceiling, hold one, two, and then right back down. We're working on, we call this extension. We're working on extension through the wrist, extension through the forearm, and again, we're doing it with some resistance. Um, we've got about seven seconds left. That's gonna be 30 seconds in this extension motion. And then three, two, one. Now flip over, we're gonna go palm up and we're gonna do a similar motion, but now it's gonna be the muscles on the other side of the forearm. Those are your wrist flexors that we're going to work with this. Um, Again, if this is your first time doing this, keep the weight pretty light. Um, you're gonna find that these muscles actually get pretty fatigued pretty quickly. And so keep that in mind. And if you need to drop your weight or just you know do this without weight at all, no shame in that. We can certainly do that. Okay, a little five second break. And now we're gonna get into radial deviation. I'm gonna grab the bottom of my weight and then I'm going to let it drop down this way and then I'm gonna pull it up this way. And so that's gonna work those muscles right here here on, we'd call that the radial side of the forearm or the outside of the forearm. And we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So that'll be 30 seconds for each of these three exercise, exercises. And then we're going to repeat that one twice. Um, if you don't have a weight at home, can of soup works great, water bottle works great, even a hammer works great, like for this exercise right here. Okay, let's get back into the extension stretch now. So palm down. I'll do these ones on my, on my uh, thigh here so you can get a feel for what that looks like. And so right here, just nice and relaxed, elbows down on the thigh, forearm is supported. We're going down towards the ground, we're pulling up towards the ceiling, we're keeping it comfortable. If you need to take breaks, do that. If you need to grab a smaller weight or lighter resistance, do that. Just trying to keep things, everything just as comfortable as we can as we work through all these motions. A little five second break, that's gonna let us flip the hand over. Now we're gonna get into the flexion. So up towards the ceiling and then right back down, up, roll it down into the fingertips, roll it up towards the ceiling, feeling that right here in these muscles. And we're gonna do this one for about 30 seconds. So we've got about 10 seconds left on this. 
And then I've just got one more exercise that we can do. So three, two, one, we're gonna grab the butt end of that dumbbell again, get into that radial and ulnar deviation. So we're gonna de deviate down towards the ground and then use those muscles on the top right here to pull that weight up. And we got 20 seconds left on this one. And then the last exercise that I have for you, we're gonna get into some pronation and supination. We're gonna do that for 60 seconds. Um, again, supported right here on your thigh or supported up on your table. I'll show you up on, your, on the table. Three, two, and one. We're gonna get into this same position. I'm still gripping the bottom of the dumbbell. Hammer is a great option for this as well. With that forearm supported and my elbow bent to 90 degrees, I'm gonna let that weight fall out to the side. Use those muscles to pull it up and over, let it fall to the inside, and then we're just gonna repeat this twisting motion for 60 seconds. If you need to take breaks, please feel free to do so. Um, the question that I always get asked in my videos is, hey, how often can I do this? Um, the answer is usually it depends. What's your tolerant, tolerance level like? Um, something like this, you could probably get through once a day. If the stretches and the active range of motion activities feel good, you might consider doing that one twice a day. Um, but other than that, you know, once a day, especially on these strength exercises is typically enough. We want to provide a stimulus for healing that your wrist actually improves and feels better, but we definitely don't want to overdo it, which is easy to do with strength training exercises. In three, two, one, that's it. If you need more help with your wrist, check out this video right here. Subscribe to my channel by hitting the circle right here. Hope this helps and hope to see you again soon.